Pennsylvania Department of Education last winter put out a request for grant proposals. It is a competitive grant, so districts had to develop a proposal that addressed how they would improve student literacy needs from birth to five, grades K to five, grades six to eight, and or grades nine to 12. You could choose to apply for all four areas or you could choose to apply for just one or two of those areas. North Penn chose to apply for all four grade ranges and we were fortunate enough to uh, have our application be accepted. We looked at what we currently have in place, what it means to us, and where we need to go as far as improving the instruction of literacy in all areas. It was based on our vision and mission from our strategic plan, as well as what we believe literacy should be within the district. Also, we looked at the uh, guiding principles, which are the foundation for literacy instruction, and we looked at what we currently have within those guiding principles and what we need to create based on what we've learned this year through the KTO modules that we, we attended. We also need to look at our needs assessment that we fulfilled, that we completed last year, and what we need to do to improve instruction based on that needs assessment. From there, we wrote goals that we need to uh, fulfill, and then we need to measure how we're going to achieve those goals. The five goal areas that we chose were alignment with a standards-aligned curriculum. We currently align with the current Pennsylvania standards, but with the implementation of the Common Core standards, we have a need to realign our literacy program to meet the rigor of the Common Core standards. We are going to work on developing a cadre of competent trainers, so that involves building the content knowledge of teachers and administrators in the district so that they not only can improve their own practice but they can help their uh, their colleagues improve their practice as well. We are looking to improve transitions across grade levels so for instance when students are transitioning from preschool experiences or home to kindergarten, when they're transitioning from elementary to middle, middle to high school, making sure that their literacy development is such that they have a smooth transition from one grade range to the next. We are also looking to improve the literacy of our English language learners through developing instructional strategies that are, that are geared towards their needs. And the final goal is around improving the literacy of our special education students. Again, looking at implementing strategies that will better differentiate instruction to address their needs and help them maintain proficiency in reading and writing. We're looking at um, the improvement of curriculum and standards looking at instructional best practices, we're looking at assessment, we're looking at literacy leadership, and then we're looking at professional development within all of that. And we're looking at a vertical alignment of those items from preschool through grade 12. At the elementary level, we're looking at the expansion of RTII from K to three to four to six. We're looking at the classroom environment through the heat tool and looking at student engagement within the classroom. At the middle school level, we're looking at um, the implementation of reading apprenticeship, which is the literacy framework to improve literacy learning across all content areas for seventh and eighth graders. We're also looking at using assessments that the state has required us to use to measure student achievement. And then at the high school, we're looking at reading intervention, such as um, the reading intervention program at the high school, um, the expansion of the language program, Read 180, Wilson, uh, co-teaching, ESL. So we're looking at supporting all learners in the improvement of literacy across all areas. I think these programs are primarily an extension of what we're doing now. For instance, we already had implemented response to instruction and intervention in grades K through three. We were looking at moving into grades four to six this year anyway. The grant has given us additional resources and additional professional development to help us successfully implement RTII in grades four to six. Similarly, we've been working on differentiation of instruction and literacy over the past few years use of things like the reading apprenticeship model, things like the PSYOP model, simply give us more tools to use to differentiate instruction for our students. Um, 
working on the intervention programs such as Read 180 and Wilson, again, we've been uh, teaching those programs and using them to assist our students who are struggling with literacy, but the grant has given us an opportunity to provide more training for additional folks to teach those interventions. It's given us an opportunity to help the teachers who are teaching those interventions develop the depth of their knowledge of how to implement those interventions with fidelity. We're helping the teachers in a number of ways. We have some professional development that we're providing. Some of that professional development is mandated through the grant and is being delivered statewide in all 56 districts that are participating in this grant initiative. Uh, that professional development consists of some modules that look at various aspects of literacy, whether it be literacy across the content areas, literacy with special needs students, universal design of learning, and so forth, to try to look at all the different filters through which we view literacy instruction for students. The district has also implemented various professional development uh, activities tailored to our needs. We have been implementing training in uh, reading apprenticeship, which is a secondary literacy across the curriculum initiative. We've been doing uh, SIOP training, which is a instructional model aimed at English language learners and helping them to access curriculum in the classroom. We've also used training for implementation of the response to instruction and intervention program in grades four through six. That's been in the form of in-service work, but it's also been in the form of Im embedded coaching from our two RTII coaches. We also are fortunate enough through the grant to have several other coaches um, working with our teachers. We have a preschool outreach coordinator who is working with three preschools in the community to assist them in developing literacy schools prior to entering kindergarten with understanding kindergarten readiness skills and with also coordinating with the kindergarten teachers in the buildings so that there's a smooth transition from preschool experiences to kindergarten. We have a data and assessment coordinator who in addition to managing the assessment data, completing state reports and so forth, has been working, working very diligently with uh, teachers, with their PLC groups and their grade level groups to help them understand some of the new assessments we've put in place and work on how to interpret the data and how to respond to the data so that we're addressing the student needs that we see in the data. The third coach that we're paying for out of the grant is an ESL SIOP coach. So she is working particularly with the SIOP implementation and working with the teachers on how to effectively use those strategies in the classroom to accelerate the language acquisition of our English language learners. Involving the community in the educational uh, portion of our business is critical. We have the students a certain amount of the day and there are resources we can provide, but we, there are many folks who touch students' lives outside of school. And the more that we have community partnerships, the more we can bring multiple stakeholders to the table, we can work together in a coordinated fashion to improve student literacy. So we want to make sure that as a community, our efforts are uh, supporting each other and make sure that we're not duplicating work and make sure that we are all pulling in the same direction so that the students receive a very coordinated, consistent experience throughout all aspects of their life when they're working on developing literacy skills. We have very much appreciated the support of North Penn United Way with, through their Community Impact Initiative. One of their three goals is their student success goal and that has a very key focus on ensuring that all students are reading on grade level by the end of grade three. Their efforts in birth to five literacy have really supplemented our efforts in working with our three preschool partners who are Trinity Lutheran Church Preschool, Montgomery County Community College Children's Center, and Head Start of Lansdale. Again, we, we receive probably about 10% of our kindergarten students from those three centers. So working with them as partners to look at development of literacy skills and transition to kindergarten is really crucial in helping our students enter kindergarten ready to uh, learn to read. One of the main connections that we have made is the family engagement piece. So um, starting in January, January, February, March, April, and May, each month we have been hosting family engagement opportunities, which have been incredibly well received. Um, we've had pretty much a full house at each event. Um, each one has a different theme. 
all focusing on kindergarten readiness type skills. So colors and shapes, um, letters, phonemic awareness, those types of activities. I meet with the families, they come out and they learn different ways to engage with their children. Basically um, everyday learning opportunities that will help them be successful in kindergarten. Uh, that's one component that we have done. The second that has been really neat is this virtual classroom connection that um, you did have the opportunity to see, but all of our classrooms have had the opportunity utilizing technology. So our preschool classrooms have been able to virtually tour um, different kindergarten classrooms in the North Penn School District, and that has been a really great opportunity with a lot of positive feedback. I was able to bring about a thousand books right now to the Lansdale Public Library. Most of them are at the preschool to very early um, education, um, first, second grade, uh, but we're hoping if we get the KTO next year to expand that. All the books are bilingual books, and they're written in Arabic, Bengali, Chinese, Gujarati, Hindi, Korean, Spanish, and Vietnamese, which are our highest languages. They are going to be available at the Lansdale Library, and even though Lansdale um, is a community library, that multi -sec multilingual section of the library will be available to all members of the community. So they'll be getting a special um, card when they enter the library um, and be able to take those out. We know that learning takes place from the day the child is born, so if the parents have books in hand, they can be reading to their children and getting them um, familiar with pre-reading strategies and vocabulary and such, and by having them be bilingual, they have their own language where the parents feel more comfortable reading in. It also is very clear that the better a child is in their native language, the quicker, the faster, uh, the better they will pick up a new language. So hopefully if they're getting a good basis in their own language before they come to school, that by the time they come to us in kindergarten, they can easily switch because they'll have an intact language. There is a very high level of accountability. They, they have given us money, but it has been assigned to different statutory areas. And within those areas, we have to prove that we've met our goals that we have um, developed through our first year application. Also, they're looking at our data. Over time, we had the HEAT tool. We had the Eagers tool for preschool. And they're looking at um, how our um, learning environment is improving as well. So we did our first measurement in the fall, and we'll be doing our second measurement in May. They'll also be looking at our data, which we've been collecting from the beginning of the year. We had baseline data in the, in the fall. We had another uh, measurement of data in January. We'll have our final measure in May. And what they'll look, is, look at is improvement of data over time. So literacy learning overall globally they'll be looking at. Also, the, um, the Comprehensive Literacy Grant is part of our requirement, uh, a requirement of the grant. And also, we're looking at um, how many teachers we've provided professional development for, how many have attended, and um, what we've actually fulfilled as part of our requirement. What happens next is, even though we are accepted for five years, we have to do a continuation application every year. And in that continuation application, what we need to do is provide data to show what we've implemented year to date, what the student achievement looks like year to date, and then provide a plan for the next year to say how are we going to extend the activities that we've started, how are we going to enhance them, how are we going to involve more participants, and how are we going to make these institutionalized so that when the grant goes away, this is just the way we do business. And this is just normal, everyday North Penn literacy instruction and not something that goes away because the funding went away. I think as a district, we've, we've had a, a solid core program for a long time. The majority of our students do very well on state assessments and we, um, we're, we're proud of that achievement. So we didn't apply for the grant because we think that there was something seriously amiss. But we also know that we have some challenges. Uh, the state has recently adopted the Common Core Standards in Reading, and so we need to realign our curriculum to those expectations. That requires us to change the way we're doing some instruction. It's a much more rigorous set of standards that require a lot more higher order thinking 
on the part of students, so we need to be able to assist teachers with how to make that transition. The grant gives us an opportunity to do, for support in doing that. In addition, we have, uh, not just in North Penn, but in society in general, a population that is becoming increasingly diverse. And as the population becomes more diverse, uh, students are bringing different needs to the table. So we need to make sure that our, while we have a solid core program, we are able to differentiate and provide interventions and support that meet the needs of the students. It's not a one-size-fits-all um, model anymore. So we need to make sure that we have the resources and the training that teachers and administrators need to be able to meet the diversity of needs that we see coming to the table. I think the best part of this Keystone's Opportunity Grant is, is that recognition that we are all responsible for ensuring that our kids are good readers, are strong readers, that they will be successful because they know how to read or to access information um, through reading. Um, and it's the, and that we all have a role and responsibility, that we all have um, a stake in ensuring that all, every child you know, that passes through a North Penn classroom is going to be able to read and to be able to read effectively and to be able to be strong, good readers. Um, and it isn't just somebody else's issue. It's not somebody else's problem. It's not somebody else's responsibility. It's the responsibility of every classroom teacher, whether you're a phys ed teacher, a health teacher, a music teacher, whether you're a guidance counselor, whether you're a school administrator, whether you're a parent, or whether you're a community member. Uh, every person has that responsibility to ensure that our students in this district are good readers. And that is the most powerful thing about this, the, the Keystone Opportunity Grant and about the Comprehensive Literacy Plan is that pledge and commitment that we're all in this together and that we all have a role in promoting reading in the lives of our children.
The big focus of this grant is to allow us to ensure that as students move through their school years, they are reading on grade level, writing on grade level, and being, because that is what helps them access the other curriculum that we're trying to teach them. The reading and writing skills are crucial for them accessing all learning. So the big picture of the grant is we want to be sure that even though we have a very solid core program, we want to make sure we are meeting all students' needs. And we want to make sure that all students have instruction and intervention and enrichment that are tied to their particular needs and that focus on making sure that they are making appropriate growth in their reading achievement.